Welcome back to The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. Uh, we talk about our second uh, conversation. We're looking at the signed uh, reworked electoral bill. Of course, the president has given his assent, but a little bit of a background to it and some of the highlight and high points of the electoral bill uh, that has gotten a lot of Nigerians very excited. If implemented to the latter, we would actually, according to the president, it would be revolutionary. Okay, that's actually a tongue twister. I'll let that slide. President Mohamed Buhari has since 2015 declined to sign the electoral bill for the number of times with varied excuses and this has led many observers to believe that his commitment to leave his legacy of robust electoral uh, reform process is actually just a mere talk it becomes it came barely a week to the expiration of the window of the proposed legislation as required by the Nigerian Constitution having received the bill from the National Assembly on January the 31st, various stakeholders, including political actors and civil society groups, had awaited the signing into law of uh, this uh, bill by uh, the president. Now, finally, the president gives his assent to that. And the highlight of the bill includes the early release of the election funds to INEC, electronic transmission of result, uh, the right to review election result, and de declare under duress and persons with disability are also included. Overvoting redefined early conduct of party primaries and submission of candidates, early commencement of uh, campaign candidates and substitution in the event of debt. These are some of the highlights um, of that particular bill that has gotten a lot of Nigerians very ex excited. Uh, but unfortunately, we would hope that we have this conversation tomorrow. Um, but. Um, I think that this is a good one. I mean, at some point, we're very skeptical whether the president was going to sign this bill or not, looking at the time that it has given. Not also taking out the fact that, um, uh, as it is right now, the date for the elections, the presidential elections have been shifted uh, just a few days uh, from when it's supposed to happen. Uh, regionally, the elections would have happened on the 18th of February 2023, but it has been shifted to the 25th of February 2023, as well as the state houses of assembly election and the governorship election which will happen on the 11th of March. Uh, like I mentioned earlier on, we're hoping that uh, we would have enough time to uh, talk about this, what this means for our democracy, and uh, if this is actually implemented to the letter, because there's also another concern of implementation as we are in our country. I mean, we have too many laws. Are we able to implement uh, you know, some of these laws? But if we're able to implement uh, this, then it would make, mean, mean a lot you know, to our democracy, it would mean a lot for us uh, come the 2023 elections. But Kofi, are you excited about the fact that the president has finally given his assent you know, to this one? Yes, yes. Um, excited. Well, um, there's a lot more to be achieved. There's a lot more to be done. Uh, so for me, the world won't be excitement. It'll be let's get it over and done with and, and move on. Uh, the Justice Mohammed Uwes uh, committee report is still there, um, yet to be implemented. A government spent taxpayer money to set up a committee in 2007 under the then President Musa Yadwa administration when he said indeed admitted that the uh, election that brought him to power even though um, he was widely accepted by Nigerians uh, he said it was flawed and it proceeded to do something about it um, unfortunately that, that that committee report has been gathering dust in Asorok uh, since it was submitted but um, kudos uh, must go to the president of course for during the needful was this administration that initiated uh, the electoral reforms. Let's not forget it. Um, they, on their own, you know, began this. Um, you know, so, I mean, Nigerians should also remember that this administration was the one that initiated the electoral reforms. And indeed, they are the one that have now signed it. Um, so it's a step in the right direction, but there's a lot more to be done. And um, it's not time to, to have a, a tea party over it but time to take stock and to get to work, really. But thankfully, INEC has released uh, the timetable for the elections, Percy, and uh, the campaigns will soon start in NS. I mean, in, in River State, uh, one of the leading politicians, uh, Dumo Lulu Briggs, landed at the airport and announced that he wants to be governor. So a lot of people are making announcements. We'll see more in the days ahead. But that's, that's so much you can take for now uh, on The Breakfast right here on Plus TV Africa. It's been quite an interesting one. And hopefully and definitely we'll return tomorrow uh, with more interesting conversations right here on Plus TV Africa. Well, if you missed out on any part of the conversation, it's all right to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's at Plus TV Africa. 
and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Bopo. Many thanks for watching. And I'm Kofi Patel. So we'll return tomorrow. Take care.